tie that in. Okay, I'm just gonna freestyle this. First, welcome to the channel, everyone. This is Steve with Blackfly. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, tonight, we're gonna whip up a hopper. In the vise, I've got a size 12 fire hole 718. As I just cut a piece out of this four millimeter craft foam. So I've got this square here and I cut it and I singed it with the lighter just to give it that kind of that hopper booty looking thing and it gives it a little darker shade too. For our thread, burnt orange UTC. I'll just go ahead and get started. I didn't practice this bug at all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some UV orange ice up. You can see I've got a pretty good clump. Just dub us a underbody. And we're just gonna bring this back right about to the middle. I want that butt just sticking out past the, the bend and just a little bit over the front. So I'm going to go ahead and just tie it right there. We're freestyling. Who cares? Let's get wild. I'm going to tie in a little gap right here. And we're going to go under just to lock that in from the spinning. Go with this kind of natural barred jig skirt material. Okay, so what I did next is I just take one of these uh, strands and just tie a knot in it. It's just going to make the back legs. We'll just pinch that right there. Let's catch that. Kind of leave it loose for a second. Just take one strand and just do an overhand knot. But then we'll just clip that for right now, make it a little easier to tie in. And we'll pinch that. Go ahead and trim that. Okay, so next I'm just grabbing some fine dubbing. A little bit of black here. Just slide that up. Pull the legs back. Get a few wraps in between here. And this should push those legs back. Wrap that. Should look like that. And we're going to take, we're going to lift this up. Bring this forward to just where our dubbing ends. About right there. And we are going to create another segment of the in the body. All right, we got one more strand here, and I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna fold it over the thread like that. Pull that into the side right there. And let them split. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. We'll just fold it over the thread. We'll get it all trimmed up here in a second and lift up. And I like to tie a little bit of a bump under here to force that head up because what I believe that does, it allows the fly to act like a drift boat so the water will flow. It'll kind of hold this fly on the surface and the water will flow right under that head. Particularly next, we're going to take some of this real thin one millimeter foam and I've just cut a piece kind of similar to the shape of the body just a little bit wider in the booty of the fly. And I'm just gonna hold this uh, time between those legs. Let me just get a couple wraps and then I'll, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these legs back and I'm gonna cinch down because I want this to stick up in the air. You can kind of see how that would give a silhouette. That's gonna be the trout's view. Okay, so next we're gonna grab some of this black dubbing. And the reason I chose black is it's got some contrast and you can see those segments better. And we're just gonna dub us a little dubbing noodle. And so we're gonna separate those legs. And then we're gonna lift up. Okay, next we got some more of this UV iced up. You wanna make sure you get a nice big, big clump and just kind of wad it, wad it up on the top. This is where the fly gets really interesting. And then we're just gonna come back and just tie that in. This gives it the appearance of, you know, it's floating in the clouds. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, I 
just to just trim that to, into a little triangle. We're not going to take this much. We're going to take this much. And jump the thread underneath the head here. And we lift up that head. And we're going to come under just to create the appearance of orange, black, orange, black. And then we're going to end with orange. Next we'll grab our whip finish tool here. And we'll lift that head up. And just give it a five turn whip finish. Let's give it a hopper eye. What should we name this bug? Leave a comment with your answer. It's that time of year, so fun tying these bugs. I like working with foam, but yeah, guys, that's it. That's gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. Uh, lots more fly tying, jig tying, fly fishing, and outdoor adventures coming soon. And don't forget your dubbing. From Black Fly with the salmon shirt, signing. Out. Why do the trout love this stuff? Look at it. They just love it. They love it. That was dumb. Bye, guys.